Now let me remind you, the point of this exercise is to catch these babies in the act, not before, so that Miller can get his fancy attorney to dance them out of court like last time, and not after when somebody's already hurt. All right? That's why the sergeant's recording the evidence. So you cover her. You cover her good. Never mind about Miller. He's mine. We hit him hard. Right? Right. right. cement for him. This is a counts. Oh, I was... Perhaps you come to the wrong site. Yes, maybe I have. Sorry to have troubled you. Once already. Nothing even close. Yeah, well, you gotta have something. This guy ain't no nobody. Here. What's this? Collected works of Charlie Miller. His lifelong vendetta against armored vans. Miller's dead. We ain't looking for him. They found the jag. Yeah. Wiped clean. What about Perry, the wheel man? Local boys went to see his sister. She says he's in Spain. Yeah, it was his ghost driving this morning. You seen this, boss? Not all of it. Phil, run that back. Take a look at this. Phil, we run that part right there. 
Look at this guy. Look at that. I don't know who he is. Thank you. Soon. We're working on it. What's the matter with your friend? What do you mean? Well, seems a bit uh, peculiar. No more than usual. Nearest we found. 17-year-old kid called Keith Lyman. He was taken 20 years ago. Is in this bag. It's all of it. How much? Six grand each. Where did Miller get the job from? He said Harry Rose. The promoter. How long you've been away? <laughs> that is none of your business. What? You, huh? You ain't never seen me before in your life. It's true. And, uh, you ain't never gonna see me again. <laughs> That's all you got on this guy? Yeah. That's the same as what's on his car. Well, that's where it comes from. He was only a juvenile at the time. So what about his school records? What about reform school? Um, juvie hall? There must be something here. As luck would have it, the school burned down and all the records with it. I can't believe it. You're telling me this. That that's all you got on this guy? This guy? I mean, uh... With all this computer equipment, you are you are plugged into the brain center of Britain. Dempsey, you can't get information out of a computer if the information isn't there. Oh, now, wait a second here. You keep bragging what a computer genius you are. So how about coming up with some goods? Now, listen, Dempsey. I can't just deliver results because you demand it. No, you listen. I get results. That's the difference.
what do you want? Some jobs. Like you gave Miller and me this morning. But better. If the job was solid, Miller or one of his mates must have blabbed. Maybe. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Where's Lyman? Who? Lyman! The other guy in the car. Come on! Look, I've never seen him before. Harry, I'm so tired of beating up on slugs like you. Look, my life! Look, Miller brought him in. He was a total stranger. For a job like that? Oh, I didn't know about shooters. Oh, yeah. Oh. You don't punch your good for 15 years already. It's not all here. How much is missing? Six grand. Is... Six grand. What happened to it? Well, he took it. Who? Lyman? Yeah, come here. He took his car. I thought he was going to do me in and all. Look, I don't know anything else about it. Honest. Honest. Yeah, honest. Um, Lieutenant. Oh. Easy. How much time do you spend in the car with him? About an hour. What did you talk about? <laughs> he didn't say much. He didn't... Damn, you must have talked about something. Uh, just. Just what? About that fight last week. What about The world it? title. What about it? Well, it was the way he talked, you know, like he was a boxer. It used to be. A, when? A long time ago. I wasn't listening. I, I was watching out for the lads. Look at this. He doesn't know Stop. anymore. You're right. All right, kid. Come on, let's go. Old Bill come took him away. Uniformed? Nah. You sure they was cops? Yeah. And they was tooled up. How many? Two. One was a bird, the other was a yank. A yank? Every geezer. Went in first. All right, my son. Here. I'll give you something to sniff through this. What? Burning rubber. Jazz. Chaz, I just had a word with this Paddy character. What the hell did you do to him? Nothing. He's shaking like a leaf. Well, that's the way he was when Dempsey brought him in. Well, you'd better get him a bloody doctor, quick. Because between the two of them, Lyman and Dempsey, have got him crawling up the wall. Can't be the most pleasant experience, both of them on the same day. Look, I've got a man running about with feathers in his hair. I've got a yank chewing gum like he's starving to death. And I've got a hardened villain who's about to have a nervous breakdown. Now, what the hell is going on? We're moving on those military records like you asked. What? Still no word on whether Lyman has a military record. Well, you'd better hurry it up. Because I don't think we've got much time. Why is that? One fact I was able to ascertain from our Mr. Perry's incoherent babble. Lyman's after another job. You think you keep a low profile now? With any normal, reliable, old-fashioned criminal, yes. But with this man, no. So let's put a few rockets under a few desks. Shall we? And Charles, I want you to put it about. I don't want to see anyone chewing gum in this office again. 
Okay. Now, don't go making eyes at me, these guys here. Why, I scared one of them's gonna bop you on the chin, don't say? It's just they're not used to, uh, sophisticated behavior from... You know what I mean. We don't want to give them the wrong opinion, you know? Beer? Champagne? Two beers, please. So what do we do if one of them does decide to hit you? Only one thing. What's that? You bend over me, you dab my face with a wet sponge, you look in my eyes, you say, sweetheart, you was robbed. Maybe I'll throw in the towel just before. Yeah. All right, here we go. You sure changed over the years, huh? Not much. Yeah. Maybe you can help me out. I'm trying to find a young kid I saw box a long time ago. His name was uh, Lyman. Middleweight? Yeah, probably. Oh, Jim Kelly. He's a bloke, now. Where do I find him? Uh, he's hard to find. Yeah. Give the man another drink, huh? Again? You owe me a hundred now. Appreciate your help. Mm. Oh. She be you? No, he can't afford me, love. Jim Kelly. Who is it? James Dempsey. Why they tell me at the Beckett you're a Guinness man? Mind if I uh, come in? Great place you got here. Don't see too many people. Must get lonely for you. No. I don't really like visitors. Oh. I'm oh, sorry to bother you then. You from New York? Yeah. That's right. I came all this way to talk to you. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for a guy. Used to be a boxer. I say you're the man I talk to. I don't know people now. He's not from now. Hey, take a look. See if you remember this guy. It's a kid. A kid? Well, he was then. Take a look. Yeah. In a life. Look, I can't see it. You didn't look at it. Take a look. Lyman? Amateur boxer, maybe? Yeah. Sorry, what was that? I trained that boy. You did? Huh. Was he good? He could have gone all the way. Why didn't he? He went wrong. Wrong? What happened to him? I 
nice, nice of you to visit. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I guess so. Uh, I'll be going. Let it wait. No, Guff. Five minutes. Dempsey just lost Lyman again. Apparently, he nearly had him. He's not having much luck, is he? Dempsey's behaving very strangely, Guff. So, what's new? No, he. He keeps calling for updates, checks, rechecks. He can't stop talking about this Lyman character. He expects everyone in the building to be on this case. Like nothing else matters. And do you think it might affect his judgment? I think he may have a personal involvement. I don't know what or why. It could be dangerous. For him? For everyone. Listen, Chaz, put yourself in Dempsey's shoes for a moment. If I had you pulled off this case now, what would that do to you? Just thought I should mention it, Guff. Look, what I'm trying to tell you is you are working the percentages. Everything is percentages. I know. So far, you have led a charmed life. Don't ask me how, don't tell me how. But right now, the situation has changed. You are persona non grata with the cops, and especially with this yank. Bleeding yank. It's my country. Yeah, but you don't run it. The cops do, and the yanks with them. What do they do with yanks, anyhow? It don't matter. They've got him, and he's got it in for you. I've handled cops before. This isn't just police. SI-10. That's a firm within a firm. If they want you, the commissioner can't stop them. Bastards. I'm sure they are, and somehow they've got you targeted. So why don't you go away somewhere nice like Spain? Wait until they've forgotten about you. Moved on to something else. Oh, the phone. What am I going to do in Spain? 
I live here. I like it here. Need some bread, I will see you're right. Well, make a deal. When I want to be paid back, I will bring you in for a job. You don't like the job, you don't owe me. Now, what could be fairer? I ain't running from no yank. This yank's got to you. No, he ain't. Nobody gets to me. Whatever you say. But as long as that mob has you marked, don't ask me for a job, right? I ain't asking you for a job. No? I'm telling you, get me one. Or I'll blow you away. Simon was a soldier. Spent some years in Borneo, Aden, Cyprus. Special operations. I knew I'd find you here. Dishonorable discharge, assaulting his commanding officer. So, what's bothering you? The weather. I don't know how you put up with it. Makes me think of New York. Maybe I'm homesick. No, but what's really bothering you? Can't do it no more, Harry. I'm losing it. I'm missing. What's my edge? Maybe I'm burned out. This Lyman is really getting to you, isn't he? Lyman? You know something? He reminds me of you. Not lying. He threw your operation, he killed Miller, he gave you the slip, not once but twice, and he's always a step ahead of you. So is my shadow. And you can't catch that either. Maybe he's the boogeyman. Maybe he's what you would have been if you weren't a cop. Dempsey. I wasn't here before. I got the message. I waited for your call. What do you want? Do you want Lyman? Yeah. Is it worth a deal? No deal. Do you want him? I want him. Then we should talk. What are you making? What do you think we're going on a picnic? Who's got the bullhorn? I have. Put batteries in this time. Yo! How's the maps? Perfect. Good scale. Yeah. Good. You doing a video this time? No, Dave is. Dave? Yeah. I have good profile, huh? Okay. Mind if I look? Oh, cool. Well, you can tell a lot about a person's character by their gun. So what can you tell me? Small butt. Effective. Hardly used. Let me see yours. Hmm. Oversized, overused, and over here. Cute. Kid, how you doing? Okay. 
can be a cinch, you know? Yeah, I know. You know the accuracy of a shotgun? Sure. Wouldn't hit that wall. You'd be five times further back, you know, you'd be covering me. What piece of gum? No, thanks. Lieutenant? Yeah. You don't, by any chance, happen to have had any dealings with this Lyman creature before now, do you? Apart from today? Yeah. Somewhere in your distant and murky past. Never. Just checking. Checking what? That we haven't got a vendetta going on. A vendetta between me and Lyman? I blew an operation I worked on for months, but... Uh... What I'm trying to do is make this country safe for old ladies walking their All dogs, right. young girls coming off from church at night. All right. But I'm sure the one place that won't be a, a sea of tranquility will be this stakeout of yours. That was before we knew about this Lyman guy. This time there won't be no surprises. All the same. Make up a couple of lunch packs for me and Chaz, Harry. We'll be coming on this picnic, too. The more the merrier. this chance of getting Lyman? We can get him another time. Wait for an easier opportunity, catch him cold. The man's a blood-crazed animal. There's only going to be bloodshed if we ambush him. We've seen on film how he operates. Exactly. The boys have been watching it. Again and again. Is this an unofficial deputation? No, of course not. They'll give you everything you know that, Gov. I just don't see why we should risk a bloodbath confrontation so Dempsey can make amends for the previous fiasco. Do you fancy going after Lyman yourself sometime? No, I'm not saying that, Gov. Hey, party time. You guys coming or what? Right. Let's hit the road. of using that thing. Suit yourself. Now, this is the route, and that's the time they leave the factory. They'll be moving along here, down here, turning at Conway Avenue, and then on to Heath Road, where you have to hit them. It's the perfect spot. Yeah, your truck had better be here at 1.15, at the junction. That'll give him distance enough to turn into lane. Have you got a driver? Maybe. I'll tell you if he's good. This time, nobody gets told anything they don't need to know, including you. Oh, I was just trying to be helpful. Yeah. Send me a card from sunny Spain. Where are you ready? Nowhere. 
You ready for the big time? Coast. Let's hope our friend Rose was right, otherwise this could You've be very embarrassing. Yeah, everything's good. perfect so far. I mean, look at this place. Perfect for an ambush. An English air, huh? Smells good. Is that a lock I hear? Since when, Lieutenant, did you know the sound that a lock makes? Hail to thee, blithe spirit. Percy Shelley. There was this English poet guy. We used to sling him into the tank from time to time. He taught me. He used to rub the neck of a bottle, you know, made a sound just like a lock. He loved doing that. He used to say, Hail to thee, blithe spirit Percy. That was the name of the bartender. Hit me again. Yeah. I don't know, there was something there sounded like a lock. All right, how are we doing here? Almost showtime. Everybody ready, huh? We set to go? All right, we're gonna have one more briefing, yeah? A final briefing. For me. I get nervous, too. You got that thing down yet? Huh? You know how to work it. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the shoes you're gonna wear. Yeah. I like them. See you in a couple of minutes. Birdshot has a wine spread, Sergeant. You take care now. You too. You know about this stuff? What about it? Makes you invisible to the boogeyman. Want some? I suppose I'm better then. Sergeant. Sergeant. Where'd you go? Urgent message for Charlie Five. Over. Field control to center. Message received. Stand by for reply. Urgent message for Dempsey on the RT could be informed. Dempsey? 157 on the RT. Sounds like you're informed again. You have to call him from a call box. You better go and get it. Where's the call box? Three miles straight down the road. Right. It's me. What's up? The bastard changed the location. 
To where? He's headed down Greenford Lane. Now, that means the only other good place is Ashley Road Junction. Is that on the same road? Yeah. Are you on, on Bramley Fork? Yeah, I think so. You can just make it. Dempsey wouldn't set us up, would he?
Why didn't you use your RT, Lieutenant? I told you to get the RT fixed. I knew it would blur at an opportune moment. I didn't have a chance to get it fixed. I've been telling him. Thanks, sir. Piece of gum. I'll get out. And I'll have you. So you cocked your bogeyman at last? Bogeyman? There's no such thing as a bogeyman. 